ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರನ್ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಭವಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚಿನು ತರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತ ಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋವಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕಿ ಪಾಂಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಲಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಲಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನುಕಾಬುದಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕ ಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷು ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಸಂಭೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 
राम राम हरे हरे कृष्ण वर्णम तिषा कृष्ण सांग पांगास्त पार्षदम जगैर संकीर्तन ही प्रायजंती ही सुमेधस कृष्ण वर्णम तिषा कृष्ण सांग पांगास्त पार्षदम जगैर संकीर्तन ही प्रायजंती ही सुमेधस गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु सेट दैट वेन लाभ एंड रैपचर गोइंग टू हैपन फॉर द यूनिक एंड एक्सिलेंट कॉमन गोल ऑफ कृष्ण सेवा एप्सिलूट कृष्ण सेवा देन वी कैन प्रोवाइड सैल्यूट वी कैन रेस्पेक्ट गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु से वेन लाभ एंड रैपचर गोइंग टू हैपन फॉर द यूनिक एंड एक्सिलेंट एप्सिलूट पार्पास ऑफ कृष्ण सेवा आई मीन टू सैटिस्फाई भगवान श्री कृष्ण कंप्लीट फॉर द कंप्लीट सैटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ श्री कृष्ण इफ दिस काइंड ऑफ लाभ एंड रैपचर हैपनिंग समटाइम वाइड एक्लेमेशन कैन बी गिवेन we can provide salute this we like but in material world in this material world i told you yesterday we are clever like crow and vulture or jackal so always we like to take undue advantage of this shloka all the quotation by prabhupad so many thing we like to manipulate so that we can get some extra advantages like one example i can come to the point like one example popa told our life is only for two days so it is good it is my advice to you all you all amicably mutually you can find some way out to serve guru vishnu bhagwan gauranga absolute way <coughs> milia mishia this word in bengali popad with me <coughs> popad using milia mishia with mutual adjustment but we are going to complain that that great vishnu we cannot he cannot do any adjustment with any body yeah he cannot he don't know adjustment he is not a vishnu follow because he is very strict he is very strict he cannot compromise with any duplicity regarding pure devotion that's why some demon they like to undo advantage of this quotation given by prabhupad well you see that boy is not cannot adjust with him he cannot adjust he is, uh, is not sadhu adjustment mean we can come down to any level i mean we can fall down from our own position and we can make an amic adjustment with those fallen soul this they like to mean all society follow they like to make some this kind of meaning they like to convince common people this way that we are great vishnu but i cannot adjust is seeing this way so idiot they are for infinity period they can get punishment they can never be excused innocent people some day can get excused but those people cannot get M mutual adjustment doesn't mean doesn't mean that kesav goshi maraj or santo goshi maraj can come down from their own position and uh, you can make a flat platform where you and me all can dance i have seen in my life even mata ji is they are dancing i say they are preaching i don't like to name then you can spit on them but very famous society i don't like to name i have seen 
All Mahatma is just dancing. This is the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That's why they are doing. I mean totally distorted version of the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are being represented in common people so that they can go to hell very easily. This is the situation. Nothing to speak. So, mutual adjustment doesn't mean that Sira Santu Goswami Maharaj or Kesu Goswami Maharaj, they are very strict. They can come down to, the, to our level, I mean, flat platform, and we can all dance. In Bengali, we say, Gole Hori Bol. They will see those Sahajiyas, na? They see some Maharaj. They can say, some speaking, after that, Nitai Gaur Hari Bol. Nautar Gaur Pemanande. They are using this word. The Sahajiya, in the form of Sanyasi, Acharya. Nitai Gaur Pemanande. What kind of prema, my Lord, what kind of prema you are getting? What kind? I like to ask them. What kind of prema? You are a politician. You are getting prema so easily. Not following your Gurudev. So this way, this word you should remember. Shakole Milia Mishia. We all, this life is only for two days. We all, with mutual adjustment, we can try to do the absolute seva. Ha Guru Gauranga. That doesn't mean big, big Vaishnavas, they can leave their position, they can come down to our low level. Uh, this is not. But they like to mean this way. Mutual adjustment means those pure Guru Vaishnava can excuse you hundred times. They are ready to excuse you hundred times. You make mistake hundred times, still. Provided there is no duplicity. They are ready to excuse you hundred times. But they cannot be a duplicity inside you. Unknowingly, if you are doing some mistake, okay, you do. So, powerful Vaishnavas should be there in a society for preaching purpose. And under their guidance, we can try to reach up to their level. Many those who are fallen so, day by day, they can follow that Guru Vaishnava, those who are powerful and try to digest their Harikatha, Siddhanta Visha, and after finally, by, they can go up to certain level, high level. So, the, so mutual adjustment doesn't mean Maharaj can come down to low level. No, not that. They can excuse you, provided you are making mistake unknowingly. Follow? This way? So, now, the sloka I started with, I can discuss, but prior to that, what Prabhupada told, that I like to, because yesterday he told, Maharaj still will have to clarify, because some people can misunderstand you. I can come down to available, what Prabhupada told, I told many times, and some Sahajya speaking, not same. I can come down to enable means X mission, Y mission. To Jashwami Maharaj told, he is senior. Hello, he told, we have seen what they are doing at the time of Jagya, at the time of Arati. They know. Hello. So come down to any level doesn't mean I can do whatever I, whatever I like. I can become characterless and stay with Matajis and dance and sing with Matajis, not that. This is not allowed. But they like to mean that way. So anyway, come down to any level, uh, that means, if my main purpose, when my main purpose, absolute purpose of preaching Gauranga Bhani is not disturbed, what to speak about disturb? Even I can get maximum facility. What to speak about disturb? Is a very, uh, very cheap word. I cannot speak this way. 
Otherwise, then other people can take advantage. Oh, my main uh, preaching is not disturbed. Not that. Rather, I can, I can try to understand that the main purpose of my Gaurubani preaching, eh, Gaurubani preaching can get a huge success. Huge success. Follow. This way, I will have to come down to any level. I can come down to any level so that my preaching can get huge, absolute success. That is the purpose. So understand you full. So for our Gaurubani preaching, we can come down to any level. This is the meaning. This is called Radha Dasha. What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to show, our Guru Varga wanted to say, wanted to show. And when the question of Simati Radharani directly come, when there is a question of Simati Radharani come, that meaning, if you can make some confusion, is not good. Simati Radharani, it is the word of Simati Radharani. I can come down to any level for the actual satisfaction of Sham Shundar, Radha Madhav, Madhav, Sham Shundar. So, Simuti Radhani can come down to any level so that she can arrange the absolute satisfaction of Sham Shundar in the way of his service. So, he can do anything. People can criticize her. Family members can attack her. People can speak all rubbish against her. But still, what Krishna told, na? Krishna told something, na? So, <clears throat> they are going to ignore everything for the complete satisfaction of Krishna. I mean, for the seva. So, in preaching, we are not Radharani. Prabhupada is surely going to make some restriction. So, if somebody is going to make some confusion in it, it's a big problem. So, Mahaprabhu wanted to give one example. Better I can discuss this point today. While discussing Harikatha, I mean speaking some, uh, teaching of Sanatana Shiksha, Mahaprabhu wanted to speak to Sanatan Gosai. Patibrata Ramani, Pati Lagi, Koilo Bishar Shevan. Sila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj also many times used to discuss this point. Patibrata Shevani. At present, it is one kind of, one kind of allegory. So Patibrata, where we can find? Patibrata Ramani, Chesty Lady. Chesty lady, so powerful. Chesty lady, so powerful, you cannot imagine. I can give so many examples of Mahabharata here, there. Chesty lady, so powerful. One example I can give. <coughs> Mandabha Rishi. Mandabha Rishi. He was given punishment unnecessarily. Follow. He was, he was put on a trident. Follow. But by the power of bhajan, he is not going inside the trident. Trident is there. He is sitting here. But not going to penetrate his body. He is on the trident. Very savage. By his bhajan power. Unnecessary. So, finally what happens? One Pratibrata Ramani, one chesty lady. Chesty lady means she, she cannot have any personal desire. What is the desire of husband? Same desire. There cannot be any separate desire. If husband likes to enjoy, then wife cannot protest. You like to enjoy, it is my duty to help you to enjoy. This way. But the husband developing leprosy. <coughs> he 
He wanted to get the association of a beautiful prose. Expressing desire to wife. Wife, yes, I can arrange. I can arrange. Then the wife going to serve that prose month after month without any penny. Without any penny. Serving. And the prose was very happy. She was ready to obey anything. Then she is, I mean, wife, I mean, chastity lady, one time in whole life. If you can, this kind of request, my husband speaking, you can, well, you can do it. Follow. <coughs> but, power of chastity, if I go on speaking, it will, it will become, become an epic. One or two examples I can give. Gandhari Ma, Gandhari Ma, I mean the mother of Durjadhan, <coughs> I mean the wife of Dhritarashtra, chastity lady. When marriage, after marriage, husband cannot see, she cannot see. Bind is that. Husband cannot see, so I cannot see also. So that chastity lady wanted to give advice to his son, Durjodhan, night time, this, this kind of moment, star position, you can come to me, I can make your body like stainless steel, I mean, iron body. So, Durjodhan came, but without any clothes, naked, total. So, Krishna is very clever, Krishna knowing everything. When Durjodhan going to meet with mother, so that mother can make the whole body, iron body, that time Krishna in between coming. Hey, where you are going naked? Oh. A mother calling. A mother calling and say, now you are grown up. You know? <laughs> How you can go naked? At least you can put some clothes. You know? Full body can be. Oh really? After they put some clothes. So that there can be some provision. And Bhima can kill him. So clever. This is called chastity lady. And that chastity lady, what happened? That chastity lady, going to arrange. But husband, when going in front of that cross, immediately changed the whole, whole you know, conception change. Like the case of Ramanujaja Sevak. I have no time to speak. One chastity lady. Long history. I have no time to speak. With this kind, someday I can discuss Ramanuja Jyotiti coming. I can discuss. <coughs> they are also chastity lady. Going to sell the body to serve Gurudev. But protection is Gurudev. Body is not disturbed. She is not going to lose anything. At the same time, all problems solved. When the prasadam of Ramanuja she brought in front of that businessman. First of all, you take prasadam, after that, whatever you like, I can do. After taking prasadam, heart changing, totally. He is begging for apology. I have done mistake. I am a beast. I beg for apology. Excuse me. Totally change. He become a sadhu. <coughs> this is the power of Guru Vaishnava. So, chastity lady. And that chastity lady, also powerful, when in front of that chastity lady, uh, when in front of that cross, ch chastity lady, you know, going to bring her husband by looking and by thinking the situation. He was deeply regret. He was expressing deep regret. I am a beast. I have done wrong. I can go away. I cannot. This is called reaction. Reaction. So when Guru Vishnu, powerful Guru Vishnu speaking, when chastity lady there, there has some reaction somebody feeling. Not that everybody, every time can feel reaction. So that time while coming back to home, <coughs> what I mean to say, while coming back to home, by chance a leg, because wife going to carry husband, leg was hanging, by chance the leg touched, the body of Mandavarishi. Mandavarishi was very angry. 
Mahanabhuriji was very angry. He is speaking, who is going to kick me with a leg? Well, no, we are not kicking. It is darkness. There is no light, we couldn't see. Anyway, your husband cannot leave. When sun rise, when sun is going to rise, immediately your husband can die. Mandapur is become angry. Of course. But unknowingly it is done. We not purposely done. Somehow we are crossing this road. By chance the leg touch your body. So what wrong in it? You cannot excuse. No. After that what happens? Then the chesty lady is speaking well. If I am chesty lady, I am going to speak that sun cannot rise. You see? Mandapur is going to, with, with, with the sun rise. Uh, your husband can die, and chastity the sun cannot rise. If I am chastity, you see, say sun, right? Sun not going to rise. Sun not going to rise. So I give one example. My purpose is not that anyway. So this is called chastity. So Simoti Radharani is the extreme, ultimate point of chastity. Follow. Simoti Radharani is the extreme. Point. I mean, absolute point of chastity. Nobody can. Many times testing was done with Radharani. With one leakage pot, leakage pitcher, you will have to bring water from Jamuna. Then we can understand that you are chastity. Srimati Radharani is going to collect water from Jamuna and leakage water. Leakage, but no water passing out. Many times such example. Only with the name Simati Radharani, in a tulsi leaf, in a tulsi leaf, one leaf, Radha, wrote, follow, and Bhagavan Sri Krishna is wet. Infinity Brahmanda is there. So in a, there is a balance, you know. One, one, you know, place, Krishna is there. And another place when gold and everything else equivalent going to, but no, never equivalent is not possible. Krishna is the infinity world is there inside. Then somebody says you write the name Radha. <coughs> then one tulsi pot in Radha when put in the another balance and uh, two pot, then it become heavy. Simati Radha. So Simati Radha is the extreme limit. Of purity, chastity, nothing. So our Prabhupada, he is Noyan Mani Manjari, so he is also chastity. So this way, he is speaking, this way. This is the point. So we should not take undue advantage of this word. We should not. Undue advantage we should not take. If you do, then big problem can be there. Now I can come to the sloka. Krishna Varnam Tishao Krishnam Sangha Bhangasta Parsadam Jagvair Sankirtani Prahir Jajantihi Sumedha Saha. Now, here, Krishna Varnam, I cannot explain details because my purpose is to establish another, you know, our topics is different now. So, Krishna Varnam means somebody speaking. Krishna Varnam means who is. Glorifying all is all all is Krishna. Krishna Varnam, he is glorifying Krishna all the time. I mean speaking Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare. Who is glorifying Krishna? I mean Hare Ram Mahamanta. At the same time, who is O Krishna, not black. Krishna Varnam. Tisha or Krishna. Or some, or, or, or some other acharyas explaining big, big. They are speaking. He is that black Krishna. Black bees, Krishna. I mean those pure sadhus, though Krishna is coming in the golden complexion, though at present Krishna coming in the form of golden complexion, but those pure sadhus who are having the all inside vision, they can see everything. 
they can see the same black bee inside gore hiding. Follow? Two type of meaning. How many type of meaning I can say? But now it is not the time to explain. Different way. Jagladi. <laughs> so, Krishna Varnam, Tisha Akishnam. Tisha means effulgence, power. So, who is going to glorify Krishna all the time? Right from the beginning of his birth, you know, beginning of his Leela. So, Krishna Varnam, Tisha Akishnam. Akishnam means by our big, big commentator, they are writing. Akishnam means Krishna Das Kobira Krishna Adi. Akishnam means Akishnam means no Krishna, not black. So, not black means golden. Not black doesn't mean it is golden. But still, our Guru Bargo is going to give this kind of meaning. Krishna Varnam, Trisha Akishnam. Sangha Pangasta Parshadam. There is another sok. Asano Varna Strayam Hi Asya Grinnata Anujugam Tanum Shukla Rakta Spito Stata Idanin Krishnatam Gataha. On the basis of this sloka, Bhagavatam, our Guru Varga simply speaking, because in four different yugas, when Gargamuni Try to understand. Don't break your link. If you break link, you cannot understand. Try to get in link with me. In Bhagavatam, we can find when Garga Muni, when Garga Rishi going to give the name. I mean, no, going to give name. New name. New. I mean, first going to give name. Then at that time, Garga Muni is speaking to Nandu Yasuda Asano Varna Strayam Hi Asho Grinato Anajugam Tanu Shuklo Rakto Spitos Tatha Idanim Krishna Tam Gataha. The general meaning I can speak because I cannot, I have no time to speak. So, Gargaman is speaking, Nando, that your son, that your son, he. Eternally present, and time to time in different yuga, he appear. Sometime, shuklo, white color, shuklo mean? I can discuss in detail someday. Shuklo, rakto, rakto varno. Follow. Tatha pito. Tatha pito. Pita mean? Pita mean? Golden color. Pita Varno. Idani Krishna Tamkata. So try to understand. Shatto Teta Dapar Koli. Try to understand. Always Shatto Teta Dapar Koli rotating in cyclic order all the time. Always Shatto Teta Dapar Koli. Koligon again Shatto. Teta Dapar Koli. Again, Koligon, Shatto, this way rotating. So if this, if this way rotating, and at the same time when Gargamun is speaking, Shuklo Raktos Tatha Pito, Idaning Krishna Dhamgad. Idaning means the time when Gargamun is going to give the name, that is Dapar Juk. That is Dapar Juk, na? try to common sense. That is Dapar Juk. That time, Gargamun is speaking, Idanin Krishna Tamgata. Mani, at present, your son coming, black color, black bees. Then what about other Juga? What about other Juga? So, Dapar Juga gone? Dapar Juga, all, Gargamun is already speaking, na? Idanin Krishna Tamgata. So, black color is just fitting for Krishna. Already spoken by Gargamun. Then if we can go back to other yugas, we know Satya Yuga white, Shuklo, Teta Yuga red, then the rest is, the rest, and the rest is Kali Yuga. Are rest is Kali Yuga, na? Don't understand. <laughs> so foolish. Are Satya Yuga gone? Ta Teta Yuga gone? And Dapur Juga already spoken by Gargamuni. At present, uh, 
your son taking black color. So the rest is colical. And the color is, residue color is Peter Varna. So common sense. So our Guru Varga, very, it is very, clear, very clearly speaking, Krishna Varnam Trisha Krishnam. Krishna Varnam Krishnam Varnayati. Hmm. Krishna Varnam Tisha Akishnam. Akishnam means by Akishna, clearly by previous slok we established. Akishnam means Pita Varna, golden color. Krishna Varna Tisha Akishnam. And now we coming to the point. Sango Pangasta Parshadam. Sango eh? Pango Asto Parshadam. So, Sha Ango, who is when Gorang Mahaprabhu coming, Gorang Mahaprabhu himself, Supreme Lord, what Krishna, same, Krishna is Swayam Rupa Bhagavan, Krishna is Swayam Rupa Bhagavan, I mean, no, he is not Avatar, he is the root cause of all Avatar, Isvaraha Paramakrishna Satchidananda Vigra, Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarvakarana Karana. Follow. He is original. So Krishna is not avatar. Krishna is avatari. He is the root cause of all infinity avatars. So Krishna. So what is Krishna? That is Sri Krishna Chaitanya. What is Krishna? Who is Krishna? He is Gauranga. Or more than that. Because now combined form of Radha Lavin. Eh? So, more powerful, but still we can conclude Siddhanta is Krishna Himself. Only coming by changing the color and covering up the body with the effulgence and with the color of Srimati Radha. Body complexion taken, stolen. Stolen. Body complexion as the mood. Body complexion and the mood stolen by Gauranga. By Krishna. And now we come go. <coughs> Follow? So what is the conclusion now? So we can come to the point. Gauranga and Bhagavan Sri Krishna all same. Both of them is avatari. I mean the root cause of all avatar. I mean, I mean he is avatari. Now if Krishna himself Swayam Rupa Bhagavan. Krishna is Swayangru Bhagavan and Sri Gauranga is also Swayangru Bhagavan. Okay? If Krishna is Swayangru Bhagavan, then what do you mean by Shango, Shango, Shango Panga Asta Parshadam? What do you mean? Shango means Sha Ango. If you split up, you know Sanskrit grammar, or Bengali grammar, or Hindi, Sha plus Ango, Shango. So, Ango means Advaita Gosai, Nityananda Prabhu, <coughs> Shango. Non different from Gauranga. Many times I prove Shango. Upango, Shango, Pango, Upango. Upango means those Sivas Adi Bhakta Bindo, they are Upango. Parshadam. Eternally coming with Gadadhar Pandit, Adi Gadadhar Das, Era Parshad. Follow. So, it is clear, Sangha Pangasto, and now another point is due, not clear, clarified, that is Asto. What do you mean by Asto missile? What do you mean by weapon? What do you mean? That weapon. So, Shango Pango Asto Parshadam. All clear? Only one word is due now. That is called, that is called weapon, astro, missile, weapon. That weapon is nothing but Sankirtan. That is called Sankirtan. With Karthal, with Midanga, Mahapabudas. And by watching all heartless people, they are going to change their. Heart. 
Only this avatar, infinity avatar there. Only this and this avatar is unique. What is this? In this avatar, Krishna not going to take any missile or weapon. Krishna also not taking any weapon, but you are in confusion. Why you can say Krishna taking wheel? No. Krishna not taking a wheel. Mistake. Wrong. Krishna never taking a weapon. Only the duty of Krishna is to take the fluids and fluid and attract all the world. Come, come, come. Follow. But then who is taking will? Who is taking will? He is actually not Krishna. Vishnu. Vishnu? Yes. Someday I can explain full Harikatha on this topic. It is written in Chaitanya Sritamitha, Krishna da, Vishnu dare Krishna kare osu sangharan. What do you think? Vishnu dare. Vishnu dare Krishna kare osu sangharan. Whatever demons and uh, we, you know, witch, you know, Rakshasi, all they are going to be killed by Krishna. It is not Krishna. Inside Krishna, Vishnu is there. That Vishnu is going to arrange this. It is not the duty of Krishna. It is not the duty of Krishna. It is not the duty of Krishna to take wheel, club, everything, fight. No time. Ananda chinmaya raso pratibhavi tabhi tabhi rija eva nijarupattaya kalabhi. This is. He has no time to fight with anybody. He never feels fight. All is playing with gob gopi samannita. Gob gopi, all. Brajavasi, all is playing Krishna. Krishna has no time to look at me. Krishna has no time. If you pray to Nandana, no time is playing with all this. Then who can, who can understand? That's why Krishna, that's why Krishna arranging, that's why it is the arrangement of, it is the arrangement of Krishna that Balaji Maharaj coming in different form of Gurudev. Gurudev, Gurudev coming. Gurudev is non-different from Balaji. And uh, Balaji Maharaj has connection with Krishna. So this way, actually bonded soul can never get in connection with Krishna, Supreme Lord. It is not possible, no? They are in bonded stage. So Krishna is, Krishna is Chinma, transcendental. If we can go up to... If we can go up to that level, if we can go up to that level of consciousness, because Krishna is absolutely conscious, when we can reach up to the level, that's why we told na, that to worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we must reach up to the level of consciousness, otherwise we can exchange view. We have to reach. That is the point. So now I can come back to the original point. Without any missile, Without any club, will, danda, Bhagavan Sri Krishna going to destroy the heartlessness inside me. Krishna not, Gauranga not beating me, Gauranga not taking any step, not that he is going to engage some uh, you know, fighter to beat me, kill me, but without that. Shango Bangasta Parshadam, only Sankirtan is the weapon. By the help of this weapon, is going to destroy all the heartless, heartlessness inside our heart. That is the. So now I can go back to give some example. What is the unique procedure? Bhagwan, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never fight with anybody. Never speak, insult anybody. So softness. Only, only when there is Vaishnava Aparad, 
Only when there is offense, you are going to express adversity, then Mahaprabhu becomes heavy. But all the time, you see, is the whole preaching, be it, be, it, be it South Indian trip, or be it North Indian trip, wherever it is, you go and check up. Nowhere, never, Mahaprabhu wanted to become very hard. Never. Who soft, very soft. Very humble. Like a, like a devotee, great devotee, not like a Supreme Lord. Because if the conception of Supreme Lord coming, then you cannot get in connection with Bhagavan. Because Bhagavan, Supreme Lord, how I can? So Bhagavan allow us such a, allow us such a procedure so that we can have a right adjustment, proper adjustment with Bhagavan. It is the arrangement of Bhagavad. It is the highness. It is the highness of the Supreme Lord. We have nothing to do. It is the highness of Bhagavan. Prabhupada wanted to give an example. Like the sun god. If, if sun god is too near to this art, then we can burn down. All can become ass. If sun god coming near to art, then we can burn down. No possibility any life can be there. All can be burnt up. Also, if the sun god is too far from earth, then if right now, when I'm speaking, if sun god going away, who knows what is happening in the galaxy way? Scientists are researching all the time. So if the sun god by chance is going away suddenly, then what will happen? Within one, within 12 or 18 hours or 24 hours, our earth becomes full of ice. We can go under ice. All ice. So, it is the unique arrangement. So, it is the unique arrangement set by Bhagavan the, uh, that the sun god is not too near to earth, not too far from this earth. It is the highness of Bhagavan. So that we are getting the sunlight in the winter season. We are sitting in sunlight. Winter season. Oh, sunlight is very sweet now. Huh? This is the element of Bhagavan. And for sunlight, sun god, Krishna is sun god, is a, a, in Gita Bhagavan speaking, Bhaiva. But for sun god and moon god, it is possible that we can get, you know, different flowers, and grain, everything possible for sun god. If moon god is not there, then you cannot get nectar, amrita, I mean oushadi. Oushadi means creeper. Different kind of herb there, na? You don't know this herb is acting as medicine. In Gorur Puran, all in details, reading. What herb can be of what use? All details. So you cannot understand. Very complicated. Better don't go. Only do Sankirtan. Don't plan, okay, Mara speaking, I can go through. Not there. You can die. Foolish. Don't do that. Only do Sankirtan. Even don't go through Mahabharata. You, you, can, you can become, you know, your brain can become disturbed. You cannot reconcile. So, Popat may have told, better you don't go through Mahabharata. You go through Chaitanya Bhagavad Gita. You're going every day. Every day. At least one page. You have to go. If you go on doing, within one year you can feel the power. Follow. So this way, what it happened? It is the highness of Bhagavan. It is the highness of Bhagavan. It's most powerful Bhagavan. He is going to arrange the situation in such a way so that bonded soul can get the scope to come near me or by the help of all devotees. I mean the Parshat of Gauranga Mahapu, all the devotees. Bhagavan can deliver the whole world. So one or two procedure, one or three or four, I can go on discussing. Right from the beginning, when Mahaprabhu started Nam Sankirtan, 
Jagyagni here in Siva Sangan. Right from then, Mahaprabhu started Sankirtan, wanted to change Kaji, you know, the Muslim ruler who is in charge of Navadip, the ruler. Kaji, you know, Kaji? Ah. So heartless, Mahaprabhu wanted to change. Successful. Even Kaji is Muslim speaking, okay, okay, Hare Krishna speaking. This way. So this way Mahaprabhu is going to change Kaji, who is, who is known as Kangsa. Kaji, Jagai Madai, follow everybody. So this way Mahaprabhu wanted to change almost everybody. <coughs> Some of them, due to their bad luck, those who are heartless, so heartless, they have committed offence unto Lotus with the Harinam and uh, uh, devotees. For them, Mahaprabhu took decision, well, I can take sannyas and by watching me, I am sannyas, living all my life, I am a penniless beggar, sannyas, maybe their heart can, they can change their heart. I can go door to door, I can go to, I can go door to door, those who are heartless, door to door I can go. So, by watching me now, maybe they can express some other, oh, now it's sannyas. So, no question of why is taking sannyas. Pay pranam, so by this pranam, can get facility. This way, Mahaprabhu's mission, I mean Chaitanya mission, Mahaprabhu started in full-fledged form. Full-fledged form. Mahaprabhu started after taking sannyas. Before taking sannyas, also doing so many sankirtan, inside, outside, procession. Procession, all oh, Nagar Sankirtan, Mahaprabhu used to do. Advaita, Sivas, who not, everybody. Thousands of devotees. Nagar Sankirtan. And in this respect, I should touch this point. Nagar Sankirtan is not successful if one pure sadhu is not there in that group. But those foolish thing, some material people and Mathajis can go, Hare Krishna. <laughs> not there. Bhakti Mata was speaking, not there. At least one pure devotee must be there. Under his guidance, if you do Nagar Sankirtan, then Nagar Sankirtan fucks up. Otherwise, you are, just, you are sinful activities. You are an offender. You are given one duty to play Midanga. You are going outside market and doing Sankirtan. So, all poison coming. From your mind, from your mouth, from your mouth in the name of Nam Sankirtan, Poison coming and those poison entering into the ear of, then they can get opposite result. That's why Nam Sankirtan, they are not getting result. They don't know. They have no idea. They never gone through this Siddhanta Visha. They can become angry with me. But Bhakti wrote, at least one pure devotee must be there, who is established in Harinam. I am not speaking about one Acharya or not Acharya. I am not. Why I can discuss? Only one point I can say. Who is not established in Harinam, he has no right to go. I can go, but under the guidance of some pure Acharya. He can speak under his guidance. The total environment can take a turn of spiritual you know, environment. I know myself. A characterless a characterless beast in the preaching party is a big midanga player. Characterless. I don't know why Maharaj used to keep him in the party. I like to throw him out. Openly he is doing everything in the temple. But still, Mandir coming, okay, no problem. If they have no idea. They have no, I don't know why they are, they think they are merciful. But this way, he, Acharya is going to give indulgence to the man, so that he can go to hell. He is already in hell, but for infinity period he can go to hell. Daytime, doing Kirtan, 
daytime and night time up to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, watching mobile. I request him, you are brahmachari, you stop, don't do it. Not going to obey. But Mandir, he is going to play Midanga doing Kirtan daytime. What kind of, what kind of result you can expect? My question to all those committee, committee members, what kind of result you can maintain? Can we expect any development? This, they are not going to obey me. I have seen practically in my life. I was in, in the preaching party. I have seen how possible that boy is there playing with them. Nice Midanga, doing Kirtan. Huh? I don't know why. So this way, if in the Sankirtan party, if not at least one pure devotee not there, at least, okay, offender should not be there. A sinful activity is done, okay. Offender should not be there in the preaching party. Offender should not be there. If you at all like to uh, take with you, Madhva Madhikari is allowed. But if you don't obey me, okay, as you like. Madhama Madhikari, those who are in the Madhama Madhikari is allowed to go for preaching. But now, not even Kanishto Dhikari, material man, demon, they are going in preaching party. So what kind of result you can? Only woman association, eating, sleeping, this you can explain. This is nothing more than that. That is why the preaching going to yield this kind of present preaching going to yield some toxic result. There is a reason for why. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was doing, doing it. And before taking sannyas, when Mahaprabhu taking plan to take sannyas, then requesting Adhvaidu Gosai and everybody, you can, you know, before also, I told you yesterday, Haridas Chakur Nityananda Mahaprabhu said, go to door to door and speak. So Mahaprabhu wanted to spread Nam, Harinam everywhere. Without any judgment or qualification. Go. Nityananda Haridas Mahaprabhu. Nityananda Haridas and everybody, not Nityananda Haridas, to all devotees. You all, you all should do Nam Sankirtan for the benefit of all these fallen souls. Be careful of fallen souls. So if we are cheater, then our Harikatha and Kirtan will be also. No reaction. If Harikatha, if my character, loose character, my behavior is not good, if I am not myself established in Siddhanta Vicha, then my Harikatha can give toxic result. This is the Avaishnava Mukhad Giram Harikatham Ritam Savanam Naiva Kartavya. Avaishnava Mukhad Giram Harikatham Ritam Savanam Naiva Kartavya. Sarpa Chishta Jathapaya. Like a snack, going to drink milk. After the residue milk, you are going to drink, you can die. Milk is not responsible. Surely milk is not milk. What milk is okay? But that snack going to touch that milk, that's why poisonous. So, Harikatha is not contamination, okay. But if Harikatha coming out from the lotus mouth of a pure devotee, then it can give result, power. If not coming from the lotus feet of a pure sadhu, coming out from a characterless people in the guise of Acharya and, you know, then you can get poisonous result. You cannot expect. So, Siman Mahaprabhu, first of all, took decision I have no time to discuss, discuss all in detail, so I can cut short. Excuse me. Mahaprabhu first went to South India. Yes or no? Last 20, South India. In course of South India, I already told yesterday, Mahaprabhu adopted such a unique technique so that he was successful to preach multiple ways. Suppose Mahaprabhu is speaking to you, Kripa. Mahaprabhu, you are hearing from Mahaprabhu. You become feeling many countless examples. Somebody walking in the field by hearing one golden man going, he started trembling. He started prema coming. 
His wife coming. What happens to you? Ghost catching. Are he also touching wife? He also started. <laughs> wife thinking, my husband, some ghost overpower. <laughs> but when husband, wife going to touch husband, you also feeling the prema. They think it is one kind of jugglery of ghost, not ghost. <laughs> By watching that, Mahaprabhu going, golden figure. Wives of, I already told wives of Pratabharuddhos, sitting on an elephant, for a long distance watching. By watching, they fall down. Of course, there is one basket, they are not fall down, but down. <laughs> this kind of reaction. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Musalman going. And I already told. Even that Keshav Kashmiri, who came here to get victory over all Navadip. Any Pandit there who can fight with me, or you can give certificate. Or either you talk with me, I can discuss something. If you are or you have to give me a certificate that I am the owner. So finally what happens? You know everything. I am not going into it because I have so many things to discuss. Finally one Mahaprabhu sitting at the bank of Ganga, full moon night with all students, like it, bright, you know. What is this useless moon? Their moon, Gaurchad. <laughs> if you look at Gauranga, oh, so nice. That moon is useless. <laughs> now no need. So when still sitting and discussing some, then in the meantime, Keshav Kusumi come. Looking at him. Who you are? Oh, I think your name is Nimai, no? Yes, I am that fallen soul, Nimai. Oh, I heard your name eh, about your proficiency in Sanskrit Vyakaran. Oh, actually, I cannot teach properly. People think, but I cannot teach properly. I myself don't understand. <laughs> Mahaprabhu, a humble mood speaking. I myself don't understand. Uh, somehow I am going to explain Sanskrit Vyakaran. Uh, well, people speak, I am. But I know I am nothing. Then Pandit going to discuss something with Nimai. I am going to cut short because no time. Nimai speaking, well, you are a great Pandit. Never in this whole world such a pandit like you available. So could you please uh, speak something? What do you mean to say? I, mean, I would like to hear something. Hey, you are small pandit. Hey, you are small uh, Sanskrit you know, master. Well, you cannot understand. Well, I know. But still, it is your highness. Uh, what do you like to hear? Uh, I would like to hear glorification of Ganga. Well, after that, Mahatyam Ganga Yam Satatamidam Abhati I started speaking like wind. Wind like speaking. Oh, like wind. Mahaprabhu hearing, all students hearing. After finishing, Mahaprabhu said, Ah, so nice. Like nectar and flow in your mouth. Yeah. Acha, uh, could you please explain one sloka? One sloka? What sloka? I am speaking like wind. How you can remember? Ah, that's look. Eh? How you can remember? Like a wind, I am explaining like a wind. How you can remember? You see, by the blessing of some demigods, you are getting this kind of proficiency. Maybe I am also enjoying some keeper so that I can remember without any fraction of second, within fraction of second. It can be so, because like your professor. Then the pundit somehow justify. Okay, maybe so. This kind of memory can be there. But this kind of memory is impossible. But still, Pandit say, okay, maybe, because Mahaprabhu like to cheat him, na? speaking this way, not speaking, I am Bhagavan. After that, Mahaprabhu, could you please explain this sloka? You actually, small uh, Sanskrit grammar is, uh, you know, teacher. You cannot. Actually, I find some fault in the Sanskrit. Huh? Fault? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? If you never mind, I can speak. Yes, you can speak. This way Mahaprabhu started speaking. Pandit becomes speechless. How possible that you are going to explain? Remember this sloka, going to explain? 
no it is it is uh, it is impossible for a human it is impossible for a man to do it no you write i find three or four fault first of all bhavani bharta he was speaking bhavani bharta uh, bhavani bharta why you are using this bhavani bharta why not bhavani if i speak bhavani automatically you can understand the wife of bhavo follow you don't understand if i speak bhavani it it clearly in meaning the wife of bhava bhava mane shankar so no need of bhavani bharta mane husband of bhavani bharta husband of bhavani bharta is useless is is meaning is useless na because bhavani mean also wife of uh, wife of bhava shankar but you are bhavani bharta it seems another wife is there or another husband then the pandit that cannot speak anything really so this way three or four mistake shown by mahaprabhu now mahaprabhu says, well you leave the matter you you speak a new thing but the but new thing what to he become so nervous he cannot speak even one word mahaprabhu says well drop the matter you can recite new thing but cannot speak speechless then the pandit mahaprabhu not insulting but the student started laughing hey don't laugh don't laugh well you can go to home tomorrow we can again we can meet here and discuss some point. very nice you your a pandit like you is in, impossible in the whole world then the pandit mahaprabhu not insulting anybody with humble mood finally gone to home i mean the rented home where and night time doing japa of saraswati you it is you eh huh? you arrange my insult there you bless me where gone that blessing saraswati you can what to do i cannot face my husband he is ah is supreme lord foolish in front of supreme lord in a my existence I cannot, you know, establish my existence in front of. I feel shy. Better you go morning time and catch the lotus feet. He is supreme lord, my husband. Then the morning time, early in the morning, before sunrise coming, shaking body and coming fall down on my poor leg. Well, why you are, you know, falling down? Excuse me, what? What happens? what the question i ask you yes you must excuse me i couldn't realize who you are then mahaprabhu gave mahaprabhu smiling after that getting full kipa mahaprabhu giving judgment you see you are really pandit but your proficiency your panditta is not for fighting with other people to get the certificate of victory it is not the result the result of panditta is to get the lotus feet of krishna the result of panditta is to get the lotus why you are wasting your time eh? then the pandit getting full kipa from mahaprabhu beg for pardon and gone for ever gone for ever to destroy all his own false ego and he was the acharya of vishnu swami sampada he become acharya later on life follow so great devotee so the mood of siman mahaprabhu is not to insult anybody i can speak so many things but time is limited mahaprabhu gone to south india many time even i can main main point i can touch like the case of ram bhaji vipra who is doing ram bhajan mapo wanted to preach in front of him he was successful to take hari naam when mapo reach at the bank of payashini payashini nadi river he meet with the brahman brahman speaking well you can take prasadam to my bhajan kuti okay i can take 
when coming after taking bath and doing Harinam Sankirtan, why you are not co cooking? You invite me in the morning time, now no cooking going on. Why? That the Rambaji Vipra Brahman speaking. Now at present, Ram or Ram and Sita in forest. Sometimes forest, in forest, a sabji, rice not available. Sometimes some fruits and flowers. Mahaprabhu understanding his mood, very soft mood. Follow. Mahaprabhu realizes this mood of bhajan. He is thinking that he is in forest with Ramchandra, so rice, chapati not available. <laughs> anyway, after that, that Brahman is crying, that Ravan going to abduct Sita. I like to, I like to leave my body by jumping into fire. Because how possible Ravan touch Sita, Jagan Mata? Then Mahapu speaking, it is not, it is not possible for Ravan to 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 see even to see Sita Devi. What to speak about abduction? I can give you evidence. Mahapu collect one evidence from Kurma Puran. I speaking when Ravan wanted to abduct Sita, then Sita disappear in Agni Loka, and one shadow Sita was abducted. Then the Brahman was very happy and then Brahman started cooking nicely. That day I couldn't cook properly because of this painful situation. So now I can cook because of proof. This way in front of Balla Bhatta, hey, uh, no. in front of Tirumal Bhatta you know, and uh, Bengkot Bhatta. Follow. Uh, follow and Prabodananda Saraswati. Many many people fighting on this on this issue. So I already wrote book 50, 14 years back. Prabodananda and Prakashananda not same, different. Many times in speech and writing books already, but nobody knows. People cannot ask. So finally, what happens? Mahaprabhu was there by their request. By their request, Mahaprabhu was bound to stay there for four months. Chaturmasa, during Chaturmasa, massive preaching was done by Siman Mahaprabhu. Even their topmost uh, Sri Sampradaya Vaishnava, all they were converted into Gauriya Vaishnava. Prabhupada Sarasvati left home, takes shelter of Bindavan, writing so like mad. Oh, nice. Anyway, so whole South India trip, I can one by one, I can show you when Mahaprabhu uh, coming in one such a place where Bhattatari wanted to, wanted to take away the only servant, Kala Krishna Das, by watching the woman association. He's gone. Mahaprabhu going to them. It is not, you know, you are not going to justify properly. It is, it is, it is not, you are not going to justify. I am sannyasi. You are sannyasi. You are going to take my, you know, uh, sevak. Hey, Madhi, who are you? They like to take all knife and sword to cut Mahaprabhu. Only Mahaprabhu speaking. It is not good, na. You are sannyasi. I am sannyasi. You are going to, uh, you know, misguide our... It is not good, na. Uh, what? How dare you speak like this? They are going to take sword and cutter to cut Mahaprabhu. And their cutter and sword falling on their body. They are going to attack Mahaprabhu by the sword coming out of ha hand and falling on their body. They cut and they started shouting. And finally, Mahaprabhu is going to catch the hair of Krishnadas and deliver him from this danger. We all bonded soul, we are representative of Kala Krishna Das. We reserve the right to fall down anytime. Follow. But if you are in touch with Guru Vaishnav, no question of fall down. Follow. So this way, when Buddhist, when Buddhist, Mahaprabhu came in front of Buddhist, Buddhist, they want to convert Mahaprabhu. Hey, why you are dancing and singing? Sit, sit. After that, discussing Shastra, Mahaprabhu is going to break 
they are Siddhanta, Mahaprabhu wanted to establish this one. I am going to cut short. Someday I can. Finally, Buddha is taught. It is impossible to convert him. We cannot convert. So what to do? They are, they are making some conspiracy. Taking some dirty rice. Like meat, fish, huh? dirty rice. They are taking, coming. Here is prasadam. You take prasadam. Oh, prasadam. Give, give, give. When Mahaprabhu asking, give prasadam. In the meantime, one big bird, like a vulture, coming and take the pot and going away. And leave the pot in the sky and the pot coming and falling on the head directly like this. On the head of the leader, I mean guru of Buddha. Ah! He fall down on the ground, ground, gone unconscious, blood coming, all Buddhists, they started crying, our guru, they've gone. This way started. Finally, what happens? Finally, what happens? They could not do it. They could not think. So, I can go back to Bhagavatam for the reminder of the whole world. If somebody is going to fight with one pure devotee, they can take the challenge. All can destroy. Like Bharat, Jara Bharat, when the Vishalpati is going to cut unnecessary, then Bhadrakali coming out from the figure and a deity and cutting off. It is written there. Those who are fighting against pure devotees, they are going to hell. They are going to hell is a must. No father can stop. They are going to hell is a must. No father can. For infinite fear. So, if somebody is going to pick up some hostility with some pure devotees or Gauriyamat or Gauriya Sadhus, and the reaction you cannot avoid. It is written in Bhagavad Siddhanta. So now I can go back very fast, I have no time. I can go to Varanasi. I am in the second trip when Mapu went to Vrindavan in course of. There are so many things, I have no time. The preaching procedure adopted by Mahaprabhu, very unique. Humble mood. Mahaprabhu, I am going to cut short one big assembly of Mayavadis and one Maharashtriya Brahman invited Mahaprabhu. I know you are not going, going anywhere, especially those are Mayavadi, but still I request you, if you can go, you can establish some Siddhanta. Mahaprabhu smiling. Mahaprabhu never accept any invitation outside. Well, I can go, surely. When Mahaprabhu gone there, all Mayavadi, Prakasananda, they are sitting, then Mahaprabhu coming, washing the leg, and sitting in the uh, washing place, where everybody went to wash a lotus uh, his feet, I'm going to sit there. And after sitting, going to express some effulgence, body power. Pukasaranda Saraswati, after watching, gone mad. He's sitting in the place where everybody is washing. And Mahaprabhu, after sitting, expressing some effulgence, body, like hundreds, thousands of sun god at a time appear. Well, why you are sitting there? He said, no, 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 dirty place, come here. You can, I have no, I have no right to sit in you because you are big sannyasi, no? I have no right to sit with you. Let, let me, let me sit here. Then Pukasananda, I'm going to catch the hand. No, no, no. We cannot allow to sit here. You sit in our middle. It seems you are great, exalted. No, no, I am very small, nothing. After that, Pakasananda started putting question. Well, I have one question. You are, you looks very like Krishna. So why you are dancing and singing? This is not the rule. You have to read Vedanta, meditate. Well, I have no right to go to. I am foolish, uneducated. That's why my Guru Padma told that you have no right in Vedanta. You can go on chanting this Harinam. That's why I am doing Harinam. By the order of Gurudev, I'm doing Nam Sankirtan. My Gurudev told, by Nam Sankirtan, I can get everything. In course of discussion, Prakasananda was bound to 
confess that our previous Acharya Sankarajajyo, his Siddhanta which was always set by him, were wrong. Prakasanda was bound to confess. And even Mayavadi, in Shastra, it is written, if you meet with one Manavad, Mayavadi, you can lose your bhajan. If you meet with one Mayavadi, talk with him, you can lose the bhajan. That's why in Chaitanya Jodhva it is written, Mayavadi, if you watch, you will have to take bath together with cloth. With cloth you will have to take bath, then you can purify or not. But I was in Haridwar speaking countless Harikata. I am I am going by by God I Mayabadi. So I inside I remember the lotus feet of Gurudev, Popad and Nityananda. I purify. I am taking bath. What to do? I am going to speak Harikata in the middle. I come back and take bath again, do tilak and go. No. How I can do? So this is the procedure. Purification, so many procedures, I can speak someday anyway. So they all Mayavadi gang party, they were all converted into Vaishnava. This way all the time. All the time Mahapu wanted to follow very humble procedure. But those copper people, those who are expressing humbleness, is copper. Papa speaking, they are not humble. Repeatedly you should remember. Papa speaking, they are not humble. They are playing one drama. They are not at all humble. They are playing one drama. So actual humbleness has some symptom. I already told many times. So this way, Nam Sankirtan, right from the beginning, Mahapu adopted this way. Even in Urupi, Mahapu was successful to establish his own Siddhanta. Where not? Everywhere. Everywhere Mahapu wanted to speak. Shamanda Abhidya Prajan Gyan. And finally, Mahapu wanted to give advice. Nam Sankirtan is the topmost thing by the help of which you are going to get or Saddha Sadhan Tattva Jekuchi Shakal Saddha Sadhan Tattva Jekuchi Shakal Harinam Sankirtan Pai Besh Shakal By Harinam Sankirtan you can hear. This way Mahaprabhu wanted to I, I I have no time to discuss. Also I can discuss how uh, tomorrow maybe I can try to discuss. How Haridas Thakur, all our Guru Bhargava wanted to preach by following the same track of uh, Gauranga, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda. That I can discuss today, no time. You are coming late, what I can do? I like to discuss more details, but what to do? Anyway, Krishna Varnam, Tishao Krishnam, Sangha Pangasta Parshadam, Jagvair Sankirtanair, Pair Jajantihi, Sumedha Saha. Those who are really intelligent, they are actual. They are going to worship Bhagavan by the help of pure Nam Sankita, not duplicity. Vancha Kalpadurusho, Kipasindu Bhavacha Patitanang Pavanabho, Vaishnavyo Namo. Tomorrow I am bound to come, tomorrow I am bound to come early in the, because otherwise they can give color to my body. Na? I have no red color, only one. I somehow I arrange. When you fail, you know, I arrange in such a way so that. So, so I will have to arrange more nice uh, such clothes, one or two, for Harikatha. Uh, one, uh, okay. And tomorrow.